and welcome to Perth guys. Yeah. We made it today. We were on the uh, Lion Air flight, Lion Air flight and uh, it was horrendous. It was horrendous, wasn't <laughs> it? It was the worst flight we've been on in a decade, I can tell you that. But uh, it did get us here and he got us here on time and wow we're back in civilization, we aren't are. we? It's such a shock. Really we are, you know, there's beautiful pavements. The car uh, stop for you to pass. Absolutely, the difference is quite staggering for <laughs> some country which is uh, really very close. And it's a beautiful place, isn't it? Yeah, Lovely. Beautiful. Very so nice. Far. So yes. far, beautiful. Yeah. So we're going to go around, we're going to uh, take the ferry first of all across to um, Perth Centre because we're on Perth south right. side yeah. and uh, closer to Fremantle because we wanted to go there to see all about the America's Cup and we're going to talk to you about that uh, shortly. Yes. But for now we're going that way on the ferry. On the ferry. have a very very exciting day we're going on a wine tour yeah wine wine all day Simon wine. tried to find the half day one but he couldn't find so we have to make the sacrifice we and do. go for the whole day and we get lunch and we go beer tasting cider tasting wine tasting uh, chocolate tasting and truffle tasting and cheese board and a cheese board tasting wow yeah. well a day <laughs> I tell you what it's beautiful here I say it really is a beautiful city. I'm very yeah. impressed. Yeah. yeah. Very, very tidy, lovely. very clean. Incredibly tidy. Uh, the buildings are beautiful. Uh, I'm loving yeah, it. Absolutely. Loving it. Surprised to find in the middle of the Swan Valley the Bandy Up Maximum Security Women's Prison. Not, not part of our tour today. Mm -hmm. Yet. To the right is Sandalford where we're going after lunch. Everything to the left is Mandoon. The buildings over here on your left is the Colony, that's their hotel accommodation. The grey building is the cellar door. To the left of that is the Homestead Brewery. Behind that is the Wild Swan Restaurant. Behind that's the two function rooms, and at the end of this uh, road is the lawn. Sparkling, perfect for that. It's made from 100% estate grown Semillon. Now, Semillon's got lots of green and herbaceous characteristics, so it makes for super crispy, refreshing, lots of green apple, lime, and citrus flavors. Freshen you all up, and then you'll taste everything the way it should. Oh, what the lunch? Exciting.
drunk. I'm very drunk. I'm not a big drinker. So it doesn't take much to get me drunk. But there has been a lot of taste, wasn't it? It was about seven on the first one and it was about six on the second one. And it was about another seven here, was it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Plus lunch. Plus lunch. Yeah, they gave us drink at lunch too. I can't wait to go to the chocolate tasting now. I'm ready to eat all the chocolate, even thinking that I gave up chocolate. But I want to eat, I really want to eat chocolate. <laughs> standing in front of uh, Australia 2, which was the first boat to uh, win the America's Cup away from the uh, Americans in 125 years. I would stress at this point that it isn't actually the America's Cup at all, it is actually a British Cup. To give the Cup its original name, the Royal Yacht Squadron Cup, yes, it started off as a British competition and one that has eluded us Brits since the first race back in 1851. Queen Victoria was involved with setting up the race, which was won by the Yacht America. The course was a series of races around the Isle of Wight off the south coast of the UK. The cup stayed in the possession of the Americans who successfully defended it 26 times until Western Australians upset 132 years of history and snatched it away from them in 1983, with their yacht Australia too. The 12 metre class does not refer to any single measurement on the boat and is not the vessel's overall length, rather measures the sum of components directed by a formula which governs design and construction. The keel is everything that you would expect, large, heavy, upside down, with wings to die for. Congratulations to the designer Ben Lexon, skipper John Bertrand and Alan Bond in this 40-year anniversary. On day four of our stay, we took the ferry from Perth, along the Swan River, past Fremantle, and out to Rottnest Island, about 10 miles off the coast. So here we are in uh, Rottnest Island. It's just absolutely amazing, it's so beautiful. It really is beautiful beaches are just so beautiful. I understand sand. now why the Australians don't want to stay in the Caribbean. They yeah. much prefer going to the Med. Yeah. Because they have much better beaches than the Absolutely. Caribbean, isn't it? Absolutely. It's so beautiful. Yeah. The beaches are really stunning. And the waters are beautiful and, and they, they just got everything. It's happened. They've just got a lot here. I mean, I'm just taken aback by Perth, to be honest. The ferry crossing was a bit of a long one, wasn't it? Yeah, because we got yeah. it from the beginning, wasn't it? Right away so, from Perth. Yeah. It was about an hour and a half. Yeah. It got a little bit tedious really but yeah. um, it was beautiful to come along the uh, Swan River and uh, see the estuary and everything so that was it was a good thing but uh, I think if I did it again I'd uh, get the get uh, from Fremantle. train to Fremantle and then yeah. uh, get the ferry from there but fantastic this is absolutely beautiful
and I'm watching out for snakes because they have snakes here. So I'm watching out. I don't like snakes. You saw a cute, 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 curious Oh, co cocos. Cocos, yeah. It's cocos? Yeah. It's cocos. Yeah, they were nice, beautiful. It's like mini kangaroos, but you're not supposed to feed them or do any kind of interaction with them. What a beautiful blue sky, isn't it? Another beautiful day in Paris. So beautiful here. Stunning views everywhere, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. colours. The colours are out as well. And yeah. this one here, it's just like, whoa. 